Here we are at the uh, push pull squeeze compound. Got the quail coop here. As you can see, let's uh, hop in there and take a look. These are uh, Bob White quail. Don't get as big as the ones out west. They'll come over here and lay their eggs. Got about 20 males, so we'll get about uh, 20 females, sorry, so about 15 to 20 eggs a day we'll collect, um, put them in the incubator, or we'll pickle them. And that's what we'll be showing you this afternoon, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the next segment. Thanks, guys. All right, got about 200 plus quail eggs here, already been boiled. Um, now we got to peel them and get ready for pickling. Um, as you can see, we got quite a few to peel, so I'll be back with you. Just an update, as you can see, we are still peeling. Little suckers are kind of hard. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, push, pull, squeeze here. We have finished the peeling of the quail eggs. Um, as you can see from my fingers, I look like an 80 year old man. Um, it's pretty tedious. Um, helps if you soak them in vinegar overnight. All right guys, the next step in the pickling process is gonna be get uh, some mason jars where I'm using pint size. You gotta sterilize everything. Got some hot water here. Submerge them, get an air bubble going on. Fill them to the top like that, let them sit. You're going to want to sterilize your lids and your caps too. Everything needs to be sterilized prior. All right, we got our jars ready for the water to boil. We have our lids ready for the water to boil. You could also do this with a uh, pressure cooker to sterilize this, guys. Um, I'm only able to fit five jars at a time. Um, so, but yeah, here you are. Alright, we're doing a simple brine. It's uh, the juice from two uh, cans of beets, half a cup of sugar, and a cup of white distilled vinegar. And we're going to stir this all up in the pot, and we're going to bring it to a boil. Alright, bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about 15 more minutes. Okay, we got the brine ready. Now we're taking the uh, beets from the can that we use the juice, adding it to our sterilized mason jars. Um, then we're gonna add the brine to that. This is a uh, pickled quail beet recipe that we're sharing with you. Adding our eggs. Go ahead and top that off with uh, the remainder of the beets and the other can. All right, after layering the jars with uh, beets, uh, eggs, pickle beets, uh, we're adding the brine. You want to keep it about half an inch below, an inch below from the top.
So we're going to be stretching our brine today guys. Remember it's always better to make more than not have enough as you're seeing first hand right here. Alright we'll get another batch of brine going. All right, you're gonna take your sterilized lids. You're gonna place them on your mason jar. You wanna give your good uh, mason jar a wipe down on the lid. You're gonna place your caps on. You're gonna put them in a warm bath um, for about 10 minutes, real nice and hot, after you got the uh, lid screwed on about hand tight. All right, after 10 minutes, you're gonna pull the jars out, let them sit and cool, and uh, from the air cooling and condensing, it will actually create its own vacuum seal on the mason jar keeping it good uh, for a long time and nice long shelf life. Alright, while we're waiting for everything to be done, we actually came back uh, to the coop, pick up some eggs. And as you can see, it is still light. Kind of mess with the birds, keep them laying eggs a little bit longer. Come over here. And you want to lift these up. No egg under that one. No egg under that one. Going over there. Did you look under this? No. Oh, here we go. All right. Got some eggs. Alright, just another quick brine that you can do. Um, this is actually Emeril Lagasse's recipe for hot pickled quail eggs. You need three cups white vinegar, four teaspoons salt, three teaspoons cayenne pepper, six garlic cloves, twelve peppercorns, ten whole allspice seasoning, two teaspoons yellow mustard seed, four whole cloves, two bay leaves, and two fresh hot peppers and this is what it looks like and you're going to want to also bring this to a boil and let simmer and do the exact same thing you did with the uh, beets all right guys after it's set for a good while you uh if you listen you can even hear for it uh the lid will pop at that point uh it's good to go you got the seal on there the airtight seal so it's good for uh storing um, and then when you open it, it's refrigerate afterwards, but it's got a real nice long shelf life on it now. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this.